Hello, I'm Osfay, and welcome to chapter 19 of my Fire Emblem 8 0% Growth Reverse Recruitment LTC. This is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> so chapter 19 is a defend map, although you can technically end the map early by killing the boss Reeve, and so that is exactly what we're going to do. Most LTCs get a one turn clear for this chapter, and this is no exception, however, due to our particularly unique circumstances, this clear is going to be very, very involved. Not only do we need to grab the third and final speed wing from the chest room on the left side of the map, but since I used an extra rescue staff use that wasn't really necessary, we also need to hammer both the warp and rescue stabs on turn one. And so this becomes a quite involved clear with a lot going on, and so I will try to give a play-by-play -play because it goes by pretty fast and there's a lot going on to, you know, achieve everything we need to. We start by burning a bunch of RN since we need to rig a crit on Reeve on enemy phase, and then we have Renak use a torch that we went and bought all the way back in chapter 16. This is to illuminate both the chest room and the tile that we need to warp Erica to because you can't warp a unit into the fog, it needs to be an illuminated spot. Uh, so that was a neat little trick there. Uh, we then have Arter hammer the warp staff. We're then going to have La Rochelle trade the hammer off of Arter, and then hammer the rescue staff that is in Amelia's inventory. The reason it is in Amelia's inventory is because we are going to position her and Cormac into a spot where Mulder can basically swoop in, trade off the rescue staff, and then rescue Erica. And because Amelia and Cormac are positioned in the way they are, it forces Erica to be rescued onto the left side uh, of Mulder. We need her in that specific spot because it gives us just enough room to reach Reeve once we give her a 9 tile warp. With the way that the rescue staff works, you don't really have any direct control over what tile the unit gets rescued to. And so by blocking every adjacent tile to Mulder except for the one on the left, we can ensure that when we do rescue Erica, that's the tile that she'll be rescued to. This clear took a very specific setup, uh, but it was one that was pretty fun to figure out. For such a short chapter, this clear ended up being pretty involved, what with needing to both, you know, warp somebody into the chest room to grab the speed wing, and also figure out a way to get our 7 move Erica over to the boss on turn 1. It just ended up being a pretty interesting clear and was easily one of my favorites to plan out. I didn't really get a chance to ever talk about why getting the third speed wing in particular was so important, but we are running out of time, so I'll have to cover that next time. Uh, but yeah, that was chapter 19 in one turn. I hope you uh, enjoyed. See ya.